Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Here we will explore the de novo antibody sequencing technology, and the corresponding services provided by Creative Biolabs. So what is de novo antibody sequencing? Based on state-of-the-art chromatograph, tendon mass spectrometry technology, and computational algorithms, de novo antibody sequencing technique was established to derive the amino acid sequence of an antibody, and discover any associated post-translational modification, without knowing DNA or protein sequence. This differs from sequence confirmation by peptide mapping, in which the protein sequence is already known and is used as a guideline to confirm the sequence. De novo antibody sequencing is a valuable tool, for enabling recombinant production of a commercial antibody with useful properties, and is frequently faster than raising new antibodies from immunized sources. A typical workflow of de novo antibody sequencing mainly consists four processes. Firstly, the antibody proteins are digested using an optimized set of orthogonal enzymes with diverse cleavage sites, generating the mixed peptides. Then chromatographic technologies are used to separate the peptides. Ultra-high resolution mass spectrometry tandem to the chromatography is performed, to determine the peptide sequences de novo from tandem mass spectra. Using proprietary software, the overlapping sequences are assembled into a full coverage protein sequence. After series of verification, such as ambiguous residues differentiation, mass weight comparison, and homology analysis, final accurate full-length sequences are confirmed. De novo antibody sequencing shows multiple applications, in antibody drug research, antibody engineering, and patent application. Antibody sequence information is significant for the analysis of accurate primary structure, which is the basis to carry out antibody drug research. Sequence information is also required to conduct the modified or recombinant expression of commercial antibodies with helpful properties, as well as to achieve the affinity maturation and humanization. The sequences of newly developed recombinant or modified antibodies are required to distinguish them from others, as also as to apply patents for commercialized applications. Despite of the broad range of applications, de novo antibody sequencing has been facing several naughty challenges. The first challenge is the de novo sequencing of CDR3 region. It is difficult to determine antibody variable region sequences with error, especially in CDR3. While the CDR3 of the light chain is mostly encoded by the germline sequences, the CDR3 of the heavy chain is usually not available in databases. It is encoded by the so-called D segments, but these are modified by nucleases and terminal transferases. Typically, only 1-4 AA of a D segment remain in the matured antibody. The rest of the D segment is artificial, and has to be sequenced de novo. The second challenge is the differentiation between liacin and isoliacin. Amino acids liacin and isoliacin are generally considered to be indistinguishable by mass spectrometry, for their same mass and similar chemical properties. Due to this ambiguity, it is difficult to differentiate between the two residues, and this can impose serious consequences on the overall performance of the antibody's specificity and affinity. The third challenge is the sequencing of V, e, J, and C segments. The V, J, and C gene segments of antibodies are available in public databases. However, during the maturation of an antibody, the B cell introduces hypermutations into the sequence to optimize the affinity. Creative Biolabs provides professional de novo antibody sequencing services, which have the following features. We have developed the proprietary database-assisted shotgun sequencing technology, 
to overcome the current drawbacks of sequencing based on traditional methods. We use a high-field thermoscientific or bitrapolyd mass spectrometry instrument with 240,000 resolution and less than 1 ppm mass accuracy to perform the services. The masses of the reduced light and heavy chain will be determined, to validate the determined sequences, and each mutation in the antibody will be validated by at least two meaningful spectra. We guarantee a greater than 30x average coverage. That is, on average, each amino acid of the protein is covered by 30 or more distinct overlapping peptides. For CDR regions, the coverage will be at least 5x. Each amino acid of the variable regions is supported by strong mass spectrometry signals in at least three distinct peptides. Purified monoclonal antibodies in multivalent forms, can be sequenced with 100% coverage of the desired regions as well as 100% accuracy. We combine the quantitative and qualitative information and provide comprehensive analysis for post-translational modifications, and sequence variants. Furthermore, other features including short period, high sensitivity, high throughput, professional team, and integrity custom services, are also are reflected in our de novo antibody sequencing services. To overcome the difficulties and challenges in de novo antibody sequencing, Creative Biolabs provides efficient solutions, which are our advantages upon other providers of this service. For sequencing of D, J, and C segments, our mapping algorithm is error tolerant, and can reliably match the mutated peptides to the corresponding germline. Due to the high number of peptides, we get sequence information for every peptide bond in the antibody. Typically, 20 to 70 different mass spectrometry spectra are generated for each amino acid position. Thus, even the hardest sequences of prolin and arginine-rich peptides can be resolved. For the de novo sequencing of CDR3 region, our method generates many overlapping peptides during the fragmentation process, enabling us to sequence very long stretches of unknown amino acids. The high quality of mass spectrometry spectra in combination with intelligent data mining, allows us to read the CDR3 like a book. The technique is so powerful that we were able to sequence a 20 kilo Dalton protein, which had no homologue in the database. For the differentiation between leucin and isoleucin, we combine with comprehensive analysis of WIN detection, enzyme cleavage preference, and homology statistics, to achieve the accurate differentiation between leucin and isoleucin, even though these two residues are considered difficult to be distinguished by mass spectrometry. For the determination of isobaric amino acids, we can discriminate most isobaric combinations, and ensures bond breakages between amino acid dimmers. For example, glutamine can be distinguished from lysine, and asparagine can be distinguished from double glycine. Leucine will be predicted from the germline sequences and the cutting frequency of chymotrypsin. Furthermore, our method works with all antibody formats from all species, and can achieve the sequencing of very dilute or tiny amount or ligands coupled antibodies as well as monoclonal antibodies coupled to matrices, and small group labeled antibodies. And mixtures of two light chains produced by older hybridomas can also be sequenced. To achieve the highest coverage and accuracy, we recommend the following tips to prepare the sequencing samples. First of all, please ensure your antibody in a monoclonal form. The quantity and purity are respectively requested to be greater than 0.2 mg and greater than 80%. For the formulation, freeze-dried, or dissolved in PBS or equivalent buffers are preferred. Filtration is required. Please filter your samples with 0.22 micron filters. 
Add additional information of your antibody samples, such as antibody isotype, details of unusual formulation, and any information on solubility and stability of the test article. For the turnaround time, it is usually 15 to 28 business days after receiving the sample. For more details about Creative Biolabs de novo antibody sequencing services, and other antibody engineering, please contact us or direct to our website.